Hey everybody, it's Mike, and I'm jumping back into the wireframes for the uh, Balsamic desktop client, uh, new project, open project window. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so uh, previously on live wireframing, we did a uh, version, this is a phase two wireframe, where you are able to select a project in cloud or on your um, local disk on your computer. And we have a set of, um, so what was new here is the, the local uh, of this computer side of the wireframes. And now I'm doing the phase three wireframes, which is cloud, local projects, and other services. And then I'll just change the title here. Oh, I forgot I could use this. Here's another pro tip that I kind of forgot about. Um, you can use the title. Um, hey, I'm going to do that to all these. If, if you do um, mockup name, the mockup name macro inside of curly brackets or braces, it populates your. Uh, your title or any string can be populated with the mock the wireframe name, and then you could just edit the title by double clicking that in cloud. This is to include Confluence. So what we need at this point is to have a way to. Um, add a service. So we could have a plus icon here. Um, we could have, uh, we don't want to have links in here on the desktop. Um, but what could we do? We could just have, the way I'm envisioning this is that you have, um, uh, say that you've come here and you want to add, a, add Jira or a Confluence um, or Google Drive. So if we had a button here, we could just do this as simply as, um, you know, selecting, a, adding a service would show a, a, a list. Um, let's see the list, a drop, a pop, a pop-up list. Let's probably go pop over. If you're opening a project and you're selecting a service, then we would step you through um, this part of the flow. Um, let's see. Let's, let's do it within the same section of the window. So let's say you selected um, Google Drive, <clears throat> right? So if you select a Google Drive, then we would log you in or you would um, log yourself in. Okay, I'm not sure if this is what, what this is gonna look like, I have to find out, but I'm gonna just, uh, for, for now, I'm gonna just, um, you know, do this as a, um, the same way that we do the, um, the Auth0 login uh, when you're signing into cloud. So I'm just gonna have some kind of title here. And then, uh, yeah, this is going to be the form below inside the, the window. Something like this. You know, if you are logged in, I want to show the this window. To show that you have another service added. 
And then I figure we can have this uh, set of boxes adjust um, for the number of services that you are connected to. So this would be a third one, and then we could do, um, I'll do a little, a little sort of micro wireframe to uh, fit the others in. Let's say, let's just do it like this. Okay, so what I'm thinking is it's something like this. Um, and then if there's four, and that, so we have, you know, four, five, and six. All right, as much as I like the idea of this being a button, I think I'm going to change it to an, um, an icon <clears throat> and control. So icon and label like this. And then um, just make it a little bit more subtle. So this uh, should show some way to select the uh, the source that you're going to add. Um, so I'll change this here, and then add it to the screen. This window is very small really make it taller something like that and then these guys make them a little shorter yeah so then the flow from here each of these will have a different uh, a different interface um, so this probably could be just generalized to logged into service and then um, you know this is a this is a login form for that service okay so I, I spent a little time um, adding some more annotation so I had the headings here to show what the f uh, you know what the steps are in the flow so if you're opening project, the first step is the when the window opens, you will see um, sources to that you, you see the two sources, cloud or this computer, and then you can select a new source to add. So here's a suggestion. Um, here I'm going to pick Google Drive, and then the window would then show the login form for that service. Um, after you log in. Then we add the source to the window, and now you see three different uh, sources here. Um, as you start to add more sources, then the layout might change. Uh, here's four, five, and six, for instance, and then you know these should flex to fit the window. Um, the other changes that uh, you know I realize that um, we have to have a way to. Uh, log out or remove service so um, if you notice here in cloud we have this user avatar and then you can log out here so I had uh, earlier I had added that to this is the phase one wireframe I had added these uh, user avatars like this when you are going through you know uh, the, the window um, so I want to add this same the same uh, logout options here for all the different services, uh, and I will need to just make a note here. Um, okay. Okay. So then, from here, once you select a project, 
then they go through the same uh, the same flow here that we had from the previous screens. So if, if we already logged in here, we probably don't need this screen. I think that the the flow will be the same as in cloud. Once you select a service, then the same sort of uh, screens will be available to you to open the project. We still got to add this um, log out option here. Right, so um, once you select a source and then open it, the if you're not logged in, if, we, if you're um, if you had previously added it, but we haven't uh, started a new session with this new source, and we, we go through the login, um, and then uh, after you're authenticated, we show you the projects, um, and then this recent should then be these icons should probably reflect what source you're in. So if this is uh, let's see, this one is, oh, I keep doing this, if this one is cloud, uh, let's smile it here. So I think that, you know, we would just show um, where your, what sources your, these projects are in, um, let's see, change my crop. same um, and then if we had this Google Drive for instance what else do we need to do here let's look at this one more time new project opens a new project window open project open recent um, so and so Okay, I think that was, is a good start here for how to add the different services. And then what we have been discussing is that um, once you've added one of these sources, then um, the same interface that you have for cloud would hopefully you would have hopefully have here as well, where you could select your project, um, and then uh, so this might have to change. So we can just do. So maybe I should have a uh, a service specific icon here. So maybe let's say we have just a way to show what you're doing or where this is coming from. Um, I want to do that here. Okay, so if this was in cloud or in Google Drive, let's say we were here, right? And I'm gonna copy this. Okay, so let's say we were um, coming from this scenario where you're selecting uh, Google Drive and then you're creating a new project in there and in, inside your drive folder then you would say select uh, select a folder so these could be folders within your Google Drive I suppose I'm not sure exactly how um, this will uh, look in terms of the the uh, what we can prov provide back, but I'm assuming that we'll be able to 
put your wireframes, your balsamic wireframes in different folders. But I think this is good enough for now and then I'll, I'll just uh, review this with uh, the team and see if, this, if these assumptions are right and if we could, um, uh, what our options are here for presenting the, the folders um, and um, you know hopefully we can make it as similar as possible to the experience for uh, go saving a project in cloud balsamic cloud or opening a project from balsamic cloud uh, hopefully it'll be the same when you're using another service so i think that wraps up this phase three wireframe probably going to do more iterations of it but this is the first uh pass at these these three different phases so um could change in the ulti ultimately in the real thing but you know this is the, the start for this session okay thanks for watching <laughs>